this video we are picking where we left from the previous video we're gonna create the railings for this bridge we've got different types of railings in this bridge so if you go to our worksheet open the profiles so if you see here there are three different types of railings we have railings for the island of the bridge and then the railings that demarcate the pedestrian cyclist path and the roads itself then we have the outside railings so we're gonna use complex profile to create this railings so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy let's select this and copy copy it and then go to the options at the top there to open your your profile manager so what i'm gonna do here is very very important and it's, it's very tricky guys yeah you need to leverage the previous beam profile to place or to position this profiles for the railings so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and um, um select or choose the beam the beam profile and then hit on duplicate let's call this railing okay and then i'm gonna hit edit let's place our profiles let's move them to the position just like this perfect and then what i'm gonna do let's get rid of uh, the beam profile i'm just interested only on the on the railings profiles just do like that oh make sure this position the position of this one needs to be at the top here and then i guess even this one let's move it to there and then delete yeah and then from here most of you are dealing with complex profile we can't create this uh, as a unit remember the railings has different components as well we have the tubing which is our horizontal members and then we have the supports as the vertical members of this component so complex profile can, can't give you one unit just like that so we need to separate this and create different profiles for different components so i'm going to duplicate um this oh, sorry before you duplicate you need to save let's cancel and save duplicate this and then i'm going to call it uh, support and then in this profile we are just interested only on the support let's get rid of the tubing just like this perfect and then hit save but before you hit save make sure everything is on on fields i can see on the preview here this is not represented what i would do i'll pick the parameters of that and then let's place it hit save there we go and then um one thing i forgot is to mirror this to the other side of the bridge mirror a copy using this uh origin origin point like i mentioned from the previous video this origin point is very very important our bridge um, spine is based on it so the distance of this each component is based on this um the origin so it's more like a center part of our bridge so it's very very important to um control and manage your project using this type of of approach let's hit save so go back to the railings and do the same i'll get rid of the supports and remain with only railings uh, this one even though it's not a feel 
that thing. Let's save. Oh, let's let's mirror a copy to the other side of the road as well. Just like so. Then hit save. Then close the window. Let's go to the 3D window to place our our railings. As it's tricky also, you I'm gonna leverage the I'm gonna leverage the beam um, uh, object. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this with the same point, like so. And then from there, I'll change the profile of the selected element to railings. There we go. Now we have our railings. Then what we need to do is to place the vertical members, which is the support of the railings. I'll also duplicate the railings just like that using the same point and then change the profile to the one for railings. I mean for the support. Just like this. But as you can see guys, the challenge here is uh, we don't want to see, we don't want a solid panel for this um, support. We want um, a series of individual pieces that are spaced with a certain uh, distance along the span of the bridge. So to achieve that, we need to um, use a different approach. And I'm gonna use an object or any object and to subtract it to punch in holes that will represent those spaces and then to by so doing it to create those series of um, series of uh, uh, pieces of railing support we could have just modeled or created uh, one piece with a morph tool or any 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 form of uh, of modeling and then multiply it along the span of the bridge the only challenge you are having it's very difficult to multiply along the curve and then have um, the members in a have the result in a good way. I hope you understand, but you understand along you know during the course of this operation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this uh, support, and then right click and edit the composite or edit the profile. And then let me get rid of the other the other railings like so to remain with just one and then this one i'll rename it to i'll call it the outside railing perfect from there go back to the 3d window and then let's apply that to the selected component there we go so what you need to know we need now to punch in the holes or to do that uh, desired results i'm gonna go to the top view or to the plane view what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a wall a wall tool to do that but um, it, the wall thickness of the wall has to accommodate or has to represent the distance between those um, series of pieces so 1.2 is fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the wall here, just like that. So if you check on 3D, zoom out, go to arrow tool, this is your wall. What I'll do, I'll adjust it to the relevant area, which is that. And then I'll increase its height to maybe Five meters and five meters too much. Let me say four meters and so what I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna multiply this along the the span of the bridge because this represents the spacing of the members. Go to the plan view to do that. So what I'll do, I'll move this with 100 100 represent the width of the, the piece of the support and then click on this to multiply i'll use the increment and spread 
pick it from here and then I'll place it there and then run run the multiplication just like that from there take advantage of uh, of the selection and group these members let's group these members check on the 3d this is what I wanted. You see this, the distance between these blocks is the pieces that I'm interested on. So the blocks are gonna create the distance between this. I hope you understand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a solid element operation to subtract that. But before we do that, we need to convert this into a morph tool. Convert into a morph tool, hit okay. Another thing before we can start telling you to check is the check if these blocks they cover the entire part of the your your railing. Most of it's caving here. It, it might mislead you. So I think everything is fine. So what I'm gonna do, let's bring select this and right click to bring solid element operation. Yeah, from the previous video I mentioned that uh, if you if you select the target first before you bring the solid element automatically to add or pick a target so we have to just to define the operator and then the operation is subtraction is fine hit ok or execute so from there right click and then convert this into a morph the idea is to kill is to get rid of the life operation of solid element operation so there we go if you delete this now you have a nice railing system railing system support for for your your stuff what i'm gonna do i'm go to the plan view then mirror a copy to the other side just like that check with 3d now the bridge is taking its shape as you can see perfect let's go ahead let's repeat it let's go ahead and do the on this one the one that demarcates the road and the the cyclist path so what i'm gonna do click on it right click edit um, comp, uh, profile what i'm gonna do I'm gonna duplicate that and call it railing support railing support pedestrian hit ok let's get rid of unnecessary information I'm gonna delete this one to remain with just with this so I need um, that so I'll go to the the worksheet let me copy that copy this go to your profile paste it there use the center of this move it to the position gonna be tricky because we don't have the perfect something like that and then we need to get rid of uh, these guys and then we need to have this as a fill go to documents and fill this hit save let's check on a 3d what we are going to do we're going to do the same thing by duplicating this with the same point and then apply the support like so perfect um Go to the top view 
let's draw the separator just the way we did just like the way we did for the for the outside railing i'll draw a wall like so check on the 3d zoom out then move the wall to this like so go back to the top view so i'll move this the wall there by the distance i want um uh the thickness of the or the width of the, the components to be so i'm just gonna use something like 70. 70 is fine let's check on the 3d yeah 70 is fine so let's duplicate this along the length of the of the beam so go to the top and then click on that to multiply use the increment pick it from there and then place it here and then run the multiplication make sure you group all this components check on the 3d yeah i think due to the curvature of the bridge when it gets here it doesn't affect that thing. so the reason why i'm using a wall tool is because it's easy you can adjust the height thousand five meters and then you're good to go Perfect. From here, let's select the, the support system and then convert into a morph before we can use solid element operation. From there, we're going to bring our solid element operation. Let's right click solid element operation and then pick the blocks as the operator, hit execute. And then again, right click to kill the operation, the live operation of the SEO. Perfect. If you click and delete like that, appreciate the results. That's what I want to achieve. Perfect. So, what I'll do, I'll mirror a copy to the other side go to the top view then let's mirror a copy to the other side of the road there we go i'm giving you a task guys as you can see our bridge is it's getting its shape the task is to complete um the remaining railings for the island so you're gonna repeat the same um, uh, approach and then you can place or define this um, railings thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you like share this video for for the algorithm of youtube too but if you are new to this channel make sure you do the right thing um, hit that subscribe and uh, the notification bell to be notified for videos like this so in the next video, we'll be continuing to detail our bridge. So be tuned with that. Bye-bye.